All right, welcome to helicopter training lesson one, basic hovering and forward flight. Now, when you first start hovering, you're going to want to do tail in hovering, and you should get the helicopter off the ground, get it away from the ground. Ground is the enemy. Um, so, you know, take off with confidence. Don't hang around near the ground too long because the helicopter is unstable when it's within one rotor width of the ground and we call that hovering and ground effect and it can be very difficult at first um, later on you'll be able to do it um, so the other thing to make sure you do when you're hovering is you know use very small stick inputs like this here um, I know you can just barely see the stick moving on the radio but the helicopter staying in one spot um, and that was an example of a move that was just a little bit too quick so when you do your turns and do your slides left and right and so on, you know, don't do anything real quick because it will destabilize the helicopter and you'll have to do some kind of correction. Um, but practice both left and right side, you know, side in hovering. And then, very important, make sure that you practice your nose in hovering. Make sure that you can do nose in hovering for, you know, good 10-15 seconds and you can hold it there steady like this you know um, for a good 10-15 seconds before you start flying around because when you fly away from yourself you're gonna have to fly back and you're gonna want to do that nose in so you're gonna want to know how to control the helicopter when it's facing you um, and this is tricky because you know left and right are reversed and forward and backward are also reversed and if you get messed up like I'm about to do here um, first thing you need to do is turn around so that the tail is facing you again stabilize the helicopter and hover and then fly back to yourself or just go ahead and land out in the field wherever you ended up that would be fine too um, if you crash make sure you hit the throttle hold um, so that you don't do a lot of damage to your helicopter Alright, the next thing you want to want to do is just some simple forward flight, left and right in front of yourself. Again, take off with confidence, get the helicopter away from the ground. And to do this, you're going to want to get a little bit more altitude. So, go ahead and go up, get your helicopter stabilized in a hover before you try anything. And then go ahead and turn either to the left or the right. And after you turn, make sure that you you're going to point the nose just down just a little bit just like that and use a little bit of collective to keep the helicopter at a steady altitude and when you get a little far away go ahead and pull back a little bit and let the helicopter stop go into hover and then go ahead and turn around and fly back exactly the same way you came and you're going to want to do this back and forth on the runway try to keep straight with the runway um, and it's a little bit easier to see in real life when you do it than it is on the simulator. So don't worry if you're not perfectly straight on the sim. You know, you'll be okay in real life. But um, just go ahead and fly backward and for you know, back and forth in front of yourself and stop at each end. And then one important thing to always try to do on the simulator uh, that you're going to need to always do in real life is to go ahead and bring your helicopter down in front of you do something to stop its motion and then go ahead and come in for a nice soft landing right in front of you make sure you get that every time alright the next step in uh, forward flight is learning to do some controlled turns and you're going to want to fly out and then you're going to bank into the turn quite a bit use the rudder the same direction that you banked and then pull back into level flight so bank into the turn use the rudder to keep the tail behind the helicopter and pull back into level flight so you need to use a little bit of up elevator maybe a little bit of down elevator to keep the nose pointed just a little bit downward um, the banking angle is going to be pretty high depending on the speed of your helicopter and 
then just go ahead and come right into a nice landing in front of yourself all right so that is forward flight with controlled turns and you're going to want to make sure that you practice this equally in making left hand and right hand circles um, so go ahead you know take off go to the other side and try to practice equally left hand right hand circles uh, make sure that you you know take the time to learn this transition from hovering into forward flight I like to kind of roll into it some people like to turn with the rudder first and then start their forward flight that's a little easier um, but make sure that you you know go around both directions uh, the banking angle again is pretty high when you start turning like this do not be afraid of doing that your helicopter is not going to fall out of the sky you know, use the right amount of collective don't pull the nose down too far but keep it down um, or you're going to gain a lot of altitude and uh, just like that <laughs> So make sure that you can keep this under control um, going towards yourself and away from yourself and you know if you get in trouble and you get far away like this I did this on purpose to show you um, get into a hover and then push the rudder any direction and you should be able to see the tail come out and then you can get your orientation back and fly back to yourself come in for a nice landing in front of yourself even on the simulator, you're going to want to go ahead and come in for a nice soft landing as close to yourself as you can. So on this last section here, I wanted to show you some circles and figure eights. Basically, a circle is that you fly and you continue banking all the way around in a circle. Um, you don't stop turning the whole time and you should practice this both left and right um, it can be a little scary at first um, when I started doing this with my actual helicopter coming in that way in front of myself was pretty frightening um, but you know if you have good control of your helicopter you'll be fine so go ahead and practice some circles and go ahead and practice some figure eights as well and I uh, wanted to show also some safety issues here um, this is basic figure eight you know going away from yourself on each turn so on each end I'm going away from myself turning coming back around uh, you're also going to want to practice these the other way so that you're turning towards yourself at the ends of the figure eight um, one thing I wanted to show you here is um, when you're doing your circles and your figure eights try not to get too close to the ground you get turned around Try not to get too high. Um, again, if you get freaked out, you know, go ahead and touch down for a little bit, collect your nerves, go ahead and take off again. Um, when you're doing your circles, uh, the other issue uh, that I sometimes see is folks will fly way too close to the ground. And even though the body of the helicopter can have a lot of altitude, if you look right there, I almost hit the rotor blades on the ground here so you want to make sure that you don't bank your rotor blades into the ground and in real life you're going to want to go up about yay high right there and probably do most of your forward flight practice at about that altitude um, hard to tell on the simulator but that's 75 feet or so and with you know with larger helicopters this can be higher and with smaller ones you're going to want to actually fly a little lower because it's going to be hard to see you know, just practice your figure eights, practice your hard turns like that. So now, even on the simulator, um, I'd like to see people avoid doing this. I flew behind the flight line, over the spectators, and right through myself. And this is going to send you to the hospital, get you kicked out of your club, and so on. So even on the simulator, I'd like to see people stay in front of the flight line, out from, away from the pits. And, uh... As always, fly safe, have good landings, even when you're using a simulator. And uh, so that was lesson one, hovering and forward flight. And thank you very much for watching.